three. Let me talk about oils for a second. Okay. The healthiest oils uh, are the ones that are high in the healthy fats. These are the monounsaturated fats. Okay. Olive oil is a good example of that. Thank you. That's the, that's the one you got right. <laughs> and, and they're low in the saturated fats. Now, let's get started with the basics that everyone knows about. You mentioned olive oil. Canola oil is the other one I want to put in that basic. Okay. There shouldn't be anybody in America who doesn't have a bottle of olive oil and canola oil in their kitchen. Okay. It's got to be there. It's essential. They both help lower bad cholesterol. They're both very important in raising good cholesterol. You can use it for most types of cooking. Canola is a little more stable than olive oil. So that's okay. the main cooking oil that I use. But if you're smart about it, you can use olive oil for cooking, especially if you're not going to fry it up, think which you shouldn't be doing anyway, no. okay. right? Vegetable oils, which you mentioned, don't let the name fool you. Vegetable oils are leftover oils. They're just a mixture of whatever's around. Wow. They're fragile. They go rancid. What would I do without you, Dr. Oz? Uh, well, what would I do without you, Tanisha? <laughs> All right. So the goal for us is to make sure that we're using the right kinds of oils. So no more vegetable oils. We don't want any junk stuff in your house. Okay. Okay? So there's two key oils. You can use them for just about everything. What do you, make, what do you cook with your olive oil? Believe it or not, my eggs, my pasta, stir fries, things of that nature. That's okay. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to give you some other t thoughts. So three other oils that I want you to think about keeping in your kitchen. Okay. They're going to offer you a little diversity. They're all good for your heart, and they may be very good for your diet as well. You interested? Absolutely. All right. Let's start with macadamia nut oil. Okay, this is the oil for baking. It's lightly nutty in its taste. It's almost buttery. I don't know if you like, you like macadamia nuts? Uh, no. You don't? <laughs> You have picked the right show today. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say to you. You know what? Forget about tasting the, the oil, which actually tastes like macadamia nuts. See if you like the pancakes. Again, this has a little bit of a different flair to it. You would think because macadamia nuts are, are, we think of them as so fattening that the oil would be fattening. It's not. It's no worse than any other oil in terms of that. One of the healthiest oils for your heart, very high in monounsaturated fats. Oh, she likes it. This is what I'm talking about. This is the audience that I love. <laughs> What do you think? Why are you thinking about that? You catch your breath. Very high in vitamin E. Four times as much as the olive oil that you normally have. That also helps reduce heart disease and it's fantastic for bacon. I don't even like pancakes. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? This is great. When you mix the oils up, you challenge your taste buds. Oh my God. And when you want to lose weight, that's what you want to do. Instead of looking for fattening things to stimulate your taste buds, look at the, that exotic taste that, that, that gets you going in the right direction. Then you don't crave more of it. Can I just taste it? You want some more? I want to taste this. Yeah, go ahead. See if you like it. She's spirited. <laughs> All right. Recipes online, easy to make. Okay. The next oil for everybody is for your heart. And again, it works well. It's toasted sesame oil. It's used for stir fries. It's toasted, uh, but that aroma gives it that, you know, a lot of the Asian foods have their flavor because of this. Okay. And, I, and I love it as a source because it's got so many of the healthy antioxidants we want. It's got vitamin C in it, vitamin E in it. All those are wonderful for your heart and the rest of your body as well. So, give me a taste. Let me see what you think about it. Taste the oil first. See if you like that. Da da da. Mm. It's good, isn't it? This is great. All right. Mm. You know, I got these are foods that y'all can make with other oils, but if you make them with, in this case, toasted sesame oil, it gives it a whole different flair. But I'm not going to, I don't want you to taste that because I'm going to save you for this, which you're going to really love. Oh, God. Okay. All right. This, my friends, is the wonderful oil secret that many of you don't know about. And I don't know why I haven't talked about it before in this context, but it's walnut oil. Now, you don't actually cook with walnut oil. Walnuts are very fragile, their oils. As soon as you cook them, they, 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 they get that bittery taste that sometimes you get when, you, you know, when, you have, when, when walnuts are, are bitter in your mouth. Yeah. Very rich omega-3s, but, but they're not supposed to be exposed to heat at all. Wonderful for a bunch of reasons, including the reduction of heart disease. And what I love doing is substituting walnut oil for butter. It tastes very similar to it to me anyway. Uh, so okay. you can use it as salad dressing to make, kick it up a notch, but I'm gonna have you make a bruschetta. Uh, so come on over here. 